Jane here and today we are making handmade paper without a mold and duck wool. So as you have seen in the title, we are going to make handmade paper using a shallow tray. So I'm using this one and I'm going to show you how I do it without the frame and we're just going to use this tray and cloth. I won't get the same result as what you would get when you're using a frame. Or maybe you could, because I only did this for the heck of it, because a lot of people were asking me if it will work, would it be possible to do it without the frame? And I gave it a try using this one. Um, I actually saw somebody do it on YouTube and then I just followed her method. I'll link that video in the description below. I gave it a try and it did work. And let me show you what I came up with. So this is the sheet of paper that I made using the tray method so it's not very even as you can see so there are some parts that are thicker and some parts that are thinner in this video I will show you how to use the tray method to create handmade paper but before we begin do click subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. So let's begin. You will need a shallow tray. This is actually the top lid of a plastic storage bin that I got from a dollar store. And then you will also need a cotton sheet that's large enough to go over that Bin, just enough to cover it up with a bit of excess on the side you will need two of these sheets now we proceed to preparing the pulp so these are just book pages in cream and white so I just cut them into strips I find that cutting them into strips or even smaller pieces of paper makes the blending process a whole lot easier with that said Yes, I am using a blender for this experiment of mine, but otherwise, if you don't have the blender, I suggest you go to my YouTube and check out the No Blender handmade paper tutorial that I have on there. But when I made this video, I used the blender to create the pulp. So I just grabbed a handful of the strips and placed it into the blender. I added water, just enough to cover the strips and then I pressed pulse for a couple of times until I got a smoother blend and then left it to blend for maybe 2-3 minutes but that depends on you if you want your pulp to be finer, blend it for longer and if you want it more textured, a couple of pulses or maybe 30 seconds should be fine. When I was done, I actually strained the pulp and took out the excess water. For this method, I think this is important so that you get better control later on. So now the next step is to prepare your shallow tray. I put on a cotton sheet on top of the tray and then I scoop out say about one fourth cups worth of pulp and I tried to spread it around and I decided to add more pulp because I felt that it was too sparse I keep getting like these holes so then I just decided to maybe put on the second cloth on top and try to press it down using the sponge and this way I also get excess water and it also helps spread out the pulp around the tray. So I just kept repeating this method over and over again until I got enough water and then I lifted the top layer or the top cloth just to have a peek at what is happening underneath and when I opened it up I saw that it wasn't even at all so I went back and pressed down on it some more trying to create a square or a sheet 
but my issue was really that it wasn't even like there are parts that are thick basically i'm having an issue with the distribution of the pulp it's not as smooth or as flat as when i would use a mold and deckle so here is how i remedied the situation i added water into the tray not too much though just enough to cover the whole thing and loosen up a bit of the pulp and then with this addition of water so it's like a little pool now i was able to move the pulp around and create well i tried to create an even distribution of the pulp so as you can see i'm just trying to press down so having the extra water in the shallow tray actually helped a lot in evenly distributing the pulp then when i was satisfied with the distribution well this was the best that i could do i put on the second cloth back on top of the pulp and used the sponge to absorb the water all over again and once that i feel that i've absorbed off all of the excess water from the tray it is now time to dry them off and we have two options we can actually just leave this to air dry or in my case i used the iron so i put the pressed pulp on top of a layer of bath towels and i put in the second layer of cloth on top and i just run the iron back and forth on top of the sheet until it dries up be extra careful when doing this because steam will definitely come out from the sheet when the water evaporates just go back and check the paper every now and then to see if it's already dry because over ironing could cause discoloration or probably burn marks on your sheet and this is how my handmade paper turned out so now it's time for some honest feedback. So it's not the greatest thing. You won't get the best result. But our takeaway from this craft vlog is the fact that yes, it can be done. You don't necessarily need to invest in a mold or deckle to make handmade paper. If you're just curious of the process, you can use the tray method this can also be a fun activity that you can do with kids so in my opinion this method is still an option because it does make a decent looking paper which i'm pretty sure you can still use which i will obviously still use but my only issue is that there are some areas that are thin and there are some areas that are thick if you were hoping to make the soft type of handmade paper this won't be the method for you but then again i still recommend this process for those who want to try handmade paper for the first time or just want to do handmade paper making as a one-off activity so that's it for this tutorial thank you so much for making it through till the end if you get a chance to create any of my tutorials here on youtube please do tag me especially on instagram it's chassis I'd love to see your work and feature it in Chassis Spotlight Highlights. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do check out my other handmade paper playlists. Anyway guys, I'll end this video here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!